First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, it's called Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahach, Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who tell me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. And peace, blessings, and healings on to the elect. Because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today I want to talk about this, Um, you know, this monkey pox outbreak you know what i'm saying it says a uh, monkey pox what to know about the virus detected in the united states u.s case of monkey pox reported in massachusetts man um, new york city investigating possible monkey pox case monkey pox case detected in u.s europe but experts caution against comparing um it to you know what it is it says um u.s monkey pox case reported as spain portugal report infection so you know it's just um another pestilence man you how about some shot said that there will be pestilences plural you know what i'm saying um in the end days this is a uh, matthews 24 and 7 it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines with a s pestilences with a s earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrow so we're in this time man we're at the beginning of sorrows you know we're uh evil people scheme to um try to uh implement their nwo man you know all that's uh prophecy you know what i'm saying this is a uh, jeremiah 28 and 8 it says the prophets that have been before me and before the of old prophesied both against many countries you know the israelites are back prophesying on the street corners again basically in every country and against great kingdoms you know america is a great kingdom of war and of evil and of pestilence Okay, so all this is uh, reoccurring again, man, just like um, it happened in Rome, Greece, Babylon. You know, you read out through the scriptures, our forefathers are prophesying against great kingdoms, and then they fail, man, just like America is going to fall, and just like these people are going to fail. Okay, they're not going to um, succeed in uh, implementing their NWO all the way, but they're going to get far with it. You know what I'm saying? I want to read this. Um, this is a picture. It says, from a book. You know what I'm saying? One of those, you know, uh, sick sickos, man. You know what I'm saying? But it says at least 4 billion useless eaters shall be eliminated by the year 2050. And now they got this plan 2030 where you won't own anything. You know what I'm saying? The uh, HWO or whatever uh, uh, made a video about it. It says by means of limited wars. You're seeing a war right now over there in uh, Russia and Ukraine. Just like how about Shemesh said, there will be what, multiple wars. Organized epidemics of fatal rapid acting diseases and starvation, just like it was prophesied about. Energy, food, and water shall be kept at substance levels for the non elite. Okay, and now they're talking about, you know, energy, uh, food shortages, you know, that's going to lead to starvation. And it's already happening in uh, Sri Lanka. I did a video on it yesterday. It says, uh, starting with the white populations of Western Europe and North America and then spreading to other races, the population of Canada, Western Europe, and the United States will be disseminated more rapidly than other continents until the world's population reaches a manageable level of 1 billion. You know, this is how you know these people are not equipped to rule the world because they can't control basically 8 billion people. But when you have some shot against the world, he takes these people down. Who knows how many people are going to be on earth? He's going to be able to feed everybody, clothe everybody, and it's going to run in tip-top shape. You know, these people just don't have the means. It says of which um, 50 million reaches a manageable level of 1 billion, of which 50 million will consist of Chinese and Japanese races selected because they are the people who have been re- Germinated for centuries and who are accustomed to obeying authority without question, you know, what does it say about, you know, Moab, you know, they're, uh, they're my wash pot, you know, that's what they was made for. But, um, going back here, man. Okay. It says pestilences with an S and then it says, um, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay. And when you read down, it says, um, and because iniquity shall abound, you know, so only iniquity is going to abound, man. Only evil is going to continue. Okay, only these people are going to make people suffer. Okay, but at the end of the day, this is Yahweh Bashem plan to get rid of the people that, um you know, didn't turn back to him. 
and we're just being wicked, man. Point blank period, because he controls good and he controls evil, man. Okay, let me get that scripture. This is uh, Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh Basimisha, do all these things. So this is Yahweh Basimisha's will that's going on right now, man. So if you don't want to pay, you know, because he set up a lot of things to make people pay. Famines, pestilences, teeth for wild beasts. You know, like it says in the Cyrac 39, I always get this, man. You know, um, going down, it says, um, there are spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. That's why you see people die by people all the time. And animals kill people because he created those spirits to do that. It says, in the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell, you know, there's a big ass fire in uh, um, New Mexico. And hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts, scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. You know, um, it's like Noah like times right now in this world, man. So, how about some shot gonna make y'all pay, man? And then he gonna make the latter pay with uh, fire, with nuclear missiles, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why you want to get right with you. How about some shot? Um, going down to uh, Second Ezra chapter 16, I want to read this a little bit. 18, it says, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? So this is even written in Second Ezra, man, but it goes into more detail, you know, and Matthew 24 goes into more detail about Yahweh it says perilous times, and then it talks about the glorious return. Okay, so that's why we're excited about things going on right now, because we know that yeah, how is going to be at the end of this, man? We just got to endure. Matthew 24 and 13, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Okay, so we got to endure everything that's going to be on the earth, man. All this famines, pestilences, because it's going to show Yahweh yeah, Shemeshah that we got the faith. We're going to rely on him, man. Who knows what Yahweh yeah, Shemeshah is going to do while all this treachery and tribulation is taking place we're gonna be good yeah how about the side lord willing okay um going back the beginning of second Ezra chapter uh, 16 verse um, 18 it says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of the evils what shall i do when these evils shall come behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, just like it says in Sirach 39, okay? But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor always be mindful of the scourges, okay? Because, you know, all this all this stuff that's taking place on the earth right now is supposed to make you scared of your help Hashem and Shai, and then turn you back to him, okay? And then you obey whatever he says, okay? But a lot of people, just like when the lockdown happened, you know, they was doing all right. They was getting themselves together. But then they went back out into the world and just, you know, uh, turned up even harder than before. You know, but for all these things, they shall not turn from the wickedness. Okay. Yeah, how about some shot just putting the nail in the coffin? Y'all ain't turning back. I, I gave y'all time to sit down at home, blah, blah, blah. Nor be always mindful of the scourges. You're not mindful, okay, because you're not learning, okay. Um, you don't care about you. How about some shot? You don't think that you have a exists because of the evil people in this world basically using gradualism to dumb down you people and make you uh, believe in this make you believe in that but at the end of the day man you have a is doing all this okay no other book in the history of the world is predicting everything that's going on right now except for the bible man point blank period it's going step by step this world's going step by step of what this book is saying it says behold Vitual shall, shall be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in a good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So this is coming, man. We're at the precipice, man. We're at the beginning of sorrows. Okay, you need a starter point, and then famine's going to hit. You got baby formula. They're saying food shortages, energy shortages, you know, all this is coming, man. It says, um, 
And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? Okay, so this is what the herbs going to be looking like in the near future. The grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men. Because a lot of people going to die, man. You look at the Georgia Godstones. It's saying exactly what this is saying, man. And they are going full force with this plan, man. Point blank, period. It says, um, but it's your Habas and Mishas plan at the end of the day because you people won't listen. That's why he created this story, which is a so-called white man. And he's going to come down um, upon the earth. Okay. It says, um, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. For of the city there shall be ten left and two of the field which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks. Because it's going to be like a... Um, the book of Eli right here, man. So, um, let's go down a little bit. You know, I want to read what the people who believed going to be doing. This is what Yahweh Shemesha told us to do in these times, okay? Um, it says, Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready for the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So, this is what Yahweh Shemesha told us to be, okay? Just like he said, if they come for you in this city, go to another. Okay, because we know they're coming. This is Matthew 10 and 23. It says, But when they persecute you in this city, flee you into another. For verily I say unto you, You shall not have gone over to the cities of Israel till the Son of Man come. So we're not going to be at peace until Yahweh Shemeshach come and pick us up out of here, man. You know, but until then, he told us, Hey, man, go flee, man. It says, Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready for the battle, and those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. It says, um, He that selleth. Let him be that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise as he that hath not profit by it, and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as he shall not reap. Also, he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. Okay, so yeah, how about some shot basically saying, man, you're going to have to leave everything you, you fought for in this world behind, man. Okay, everything you struggled for. You're going to have to leave behind and just rely on him. This is what this is saying, basically. You're going to have to rely on Yahweh Hashem and Shai 100%. Okay, and don't worry about nothing else. Yahweh Hashem and Shai said, cast all your cares upon him, you know, and uh, he'll take care of everything. You know, let's go to uh, Hebrews real quick. Hebrews 11. And uh, it's going to be my last scriptures, and then I'm going to get out of here. Um, it says, the triumphs of faith. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh Pasha Meshach, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. You know, and then it talks about all our forefathers having faith. You know, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. And that's the spirit we got to be in, in the spirit of Noah. We got to move with fear. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house. Okay, and we're doing this same thing right now. You know, we're building a spiritual ark, so Yahweh Shemeshah will pick us up, man, when them nukes start falling. By the which he condemneth the world, same thing we're doing, and became an heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. Okay? So, hey, man, you gotta have faith, or it's not impossible to please him, and that's why he said be a pilgrim and rely on me, basically. Okay? And who, who who's better to rely on than the creator of all things? Okay, so, amen, repent. You know, we almost out of here. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. And call, hello, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshab, Bashem,